welcome to Betty Buffer's Kitchen and Garden. Today we're going to be making Betty's Bread Rolls. It's a nice easy recipe, you can do it at home, maybe with the kiddies or maybe with your nan. Who knows? Okay, let's give it a go. Right, what you'll need to get started. Two plastic bowls, about like that size, okay. Uh, you'll need some flour. Now this is strong white bread flour. Buy the best you can. If you can afford organic, get organic. That means there's no pesticides or nasty chemicals in there. So it'll be really good for you. Make sure it's strong white flour. Okay, if you're somebody who really likes brown bread, cut it half and half and have half all meal and half white. But make sure there's strong flours for making bread, not your soft stuff for making your sponge cakes and scones. We're not doing that today. All right. Then you'll need some salt, any old salt. That'll be lovely. Fine ground salt and a little bit of yeast. All right, dried yeast, easy to get at the supermarket. And some oil, you don't need this much. This is just to show you. You can use sunflower oil, vegetable oil, or rapeseed oil. Rapeseed oil often is from England, so that's really good because it's low on food miles. That's mean it hasn't come very far to your table or kitchen. Very good. Right, here we go. This is what you do. Are you ready, everybody? There's a sheet, so it'll help you. But let's just crack on. Here we go. Right, first of all, you get your bowl, you put it on your scales. Did I mention you'll need scales? You will need scales. If you haven't got scales, we can always do it in spoons and stuff like that, but let's just do it with scales for now. Here's a tablespoon, that's the big spoon. All right, here we go. We need 500 grams of your strong white flour. So if anyone's counting, you might have worked out how many tablespoons, they're heaped by the way, this is going to turn out to be. So I'm just gonna keep going until we've got 500 grams of strong white flour in our bowl. It doesn't have to be really, really exact. I've actually got 504, but don't tell anyone. All right, then you're going to put into that a little bit of salt. Now, you can measure it with a teaspoon if you like. Here you go. Oh, that'll do. Not too much salt, everyone. It's not that good for you. We like the taste, though. So you've got that in a bowl, flour, salt. Mix it with your hand like this so it's all beautifully combined. Oh, that feels nice. Anyway, enough of that. Then put another bowl on there. Make your thing go to zero. Now I'm going to get some hot water. I'll be back in a sec. You don't have to boil a kettle. Just run it out the top. Oh, here we go. It's about, oh, 20 something degrees. All right, then you'll need 300 grams of that. I always like to weigh my water. I know, <laughs> I'm like that. Weigh my water because it comes out more accurate. Then you're going to add a little bit of shloop of oil to that. Now, I'm going to put it in a jug because I don't trust myself. There we go. And I just go like that. I mean, you can measure it, help yourself. All right, that's good, like that. Then into that, we're going to put some yeast. And again, we're going to go, oh, about a teaspoon, that'll do. All right, maybe a bit more. I'm feeling like that today. Right, there we go. So, then we scoosh all that together. That's it, give it a good old scoosh, make sure it's all nice and creamy. All right, so we're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna get rid of my scales. I don't need to do any more weighing out. Hooray! Okay, that goes over there. Then what we're going to do, get the dry stuff. Here's the wet stuff. Hey, it's all mixed in. Make sure it's all mixed in. Is it all mixed in? No lumps. Can't feel any lumps. I'm all right. Right, here we go. Going to make it nice and mixed. No lumps. Get rid of them lumps. That's it. Put it all together. There you go, like that. Then you're going to mix it around with your fingers. Can you see what I'm doing there? And I'm squeezing it like this. I'm going ooh, 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 like that. So that it all mixes together. Have you got that? All right. And as you go, you're just going to gather in all your bits of flour, all your little bits like this. That's 
it. Oh, yes, it's going. Now, what we're looking for is something nice and soft. We don't want any bricks. We're not making bricks, all right? We want a nice, soft dough. So, people get a bit like, oh, it's ever so sticky. It's sticky, Betty. What am I going to do? And I go, don't worry. If anything, you might need to add a tiny bit more water. And then, if you make it too sticky, you can always add a little bit more flour because it's not making a cake, it's making bread. And that's much more flexible. All right, here we go. So, I've got all those bits together. It's a bit sticky, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'm gonna put it on the table. My table's nice and clean. I hope yours is too. Here we go. So, I'm just going to mix it on the table like this. Can you see how stretchy it is? Woo! Yes, it's nice and sticky too. And do you know what? I'm not adding any flour to that. I'm not worrying about that because I want a nice sticky dough. Yes, I do. I want to have a lovely, stretchy, sticky dough. I do. Look. Woo! Can you see already how stretchy it is? That's what we're after. All right. Now, this is the bit where we might fast forward. All right. So I'm just going to need it a little while and then I'll come back to you when I've needed it a bit. Okay. Oh. Ooh. And there we go. So, I've just kneaded it on the table, my little ball of dough, for ooh, about five minutes maybe, maximum. Not really longer than that. I've also got myself one of these, which is a dough scraper. It's very handy. If you haven't got one, don't worry, you could just use a nice flat, not sharp knife to scrape the dough off your hands. It's really useful. Or a spoon, of course, good old spoons. Now, you'll see a dough, do you remember how stretchy it was before? Now it's super stretchy. And added addition of being smoother. Very nice. You could go on and knead that some more, but I think we're just going to let that rest. So I'm going to get the bowl that I used before. Hang on just a second there. I make it into a nice bowl, first of all, like this. There we go. There's my bowl of dough. Beautiful. There. I'm going to get my nice bowl here. And I'm going to put my bowl of dough in my bowl like that. And I get myself a tea towel. I'll be back in a second. Just get a tea towel. I'm going to get a tea towel to cover it up so that it can grow nice and quietly. Oh, what's we got here? Oh, one from Gibraltar when I went on my holidays to Gibraltar. That was lovely. I'm going to make it a little damp. There we go. It's a little wet now, so it's not going to dry. We don't want our dough to dry out and form a skin on top because it can't grow. Because what we want it to do now is grow. So I'm going to put that over there and then we're going to put it somewhere nice and warm and let it grow. Okay, so we'll see it in about an hour. But while we're doing that, we can get our tray ready. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil on a baking tray like this and just spread it out with my fingers like that. There you go. And that'll be ready for when the dough's ready for us. All right, I'll leave that there and I'll do a little clean up. Now you can see there's nothing on the table, is there? No mess really at all, so to speak of. And I didn't put any flour on the board. On the, on the table when I work the dough. So don't you either, otherwise you'll end up with a brick. All right then, I'll see you in a minute when our dough has risen. Bye for now. Welcome back everybody. So we've had a bit of a rest and the dough has been getting nice and warm and it's grown. Shall we have a look? Here we go everyone. Ooh, look at that, isn't it lovely? Right, I'm going to use my dough scraper, but you don't have to if you haven't got one. Just scrape it out on the table. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's lovely. See how bouncy and fluffy it is. It's beautiful. Right, what we're going to do now is, and again, I've put no flour on the table because I don't want to make bricks. That's right. So I'm going to divide this dough up into six roughly even pieces. Now, one way we can do that is if we make a little round like this, and then we go all the way through once, like that, and then we go one, two, three, one, 
two, three. So there you go, six even pieces. So I'll get one of those. And then what I'm going to do is, can you see this? I'm going to roll it round with my hand like that. And I'm going to just drag it towards me across the table like that. Look at that, it makes a nice little roll, doesn't it? So I'm gonna pop that on me oily tray. Do you remember me oily tray? There we go. So we're going to repeat that. Here we go. Doing it again, rolling it round, dragging it towards me. There we go. And then popping it on my oily tray with a little bit of a space between all of them. So we do that with all of them. Then what we do is, you remember our tea towel friend here? We're going to pop that back over the top when you've done them all. And we're going to put it back somewhere warm for about 40, 45 minutes while we heat up our oven. All right, I'll get back to you when we're ready to pop things in the oven. All right, see you later, bye. Oh, here we are lovelies. These have been sitting in the warm place again for about 45 minutes. And now, oh, look how they've puffed up, isn't that lovely? We're going to finish them off with a little bit of flour on the top like that. That'll be nice. And then we're going to pop them into the hot oven. So I turned the oven on to heat up while they were in there. So it's at about 220 degrees C. And that's about mark uh, eight, I think or nine, maybe, if you've got gas. Best check it. Anyway, I'm gonna pop them in the oven now for about 15 minutes. Here we go. Here we go. Are you coming with me? Come on then. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. There we are. Right. Oh, I've got flour everywhere. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Be ready in a minute. See you later. Ooh, they look nice, don't they? Here we go. Are you ready? Ooh. Oh, my glasses are nearly steamed up. Here we are. Ooh, very good. Oh, look at those. Oh, beautiful buns. Look at that. Oh, they lovely. Do you want to come over here? Come on, come on, come on. Follow the buns. Here we go. Right. So, look, they're done, aren't they? Not gummy on the sides at all. They're all right. They're very, very hot. So just be careful when you get them off the tray because they're ah, ah, hot, hot, hot. That's it. That's it. Look, now I'm just going to look, look at that. Look at the fluff. Look at the fluff there. That's because we didn't add any extra flour. So if I just break this open, oh, 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 ah, 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 it's very hot, very hot. Oh, here we go. Oh, destroying this roll, just so I can show you. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at the inside of that, it's all fluffy. All right, so that's a beautiful fluffy white roll that you can make yourself at home, ever so easy. And then you could have it with something lovely, like maybe a summer stew. How's that? All right then, lovelies, I'll see you again soon. We'll have another howdy do in the kitchen or garden. Cheerio, cheerio now from Betty, bye. All right, look at, oh, I better go. Okay, bye, get on with something. Oh,